Uh, so yeah, so this is, this is a weird story. So Saudi Arabia, MBS, Muhammad, uh, what's his name? Muhammad bin Salman, is that, that his name? Uh, uh, Muhammad bin Salman, yes. Muhammad bin Salman, who is the crown prince, but the de facto ruler of Saudi Arabia. He's 37 years old. He basically runs uh, the country, runs the investment. He's building this modernist city, uh, long, a long city, which is weird and not very efficient. But anyway, uh, trying to diversify the Saudi economy away from oil and gas and, and trying to bring in other industries, but also diversifying the investment of this uh, sovereign wealth fund. They, they've got this massive amount of money, gazillions of dollars sitting there uh, to, uh, and they invest it. Well, he, they've, just, they've just announced that they will be creating a new foundation. Uh, the foundation is called um, uh, the Hevolution Foundation. Revolution, but instead of the R at the beginning of the word, it's an H. So it's Hevolution Foundation. Um, so they are, uh, they're creating in this new Hevolution Foundation, and the foundation is going to be distributing $1 billion, billion, $1 billion to research into uh, anti-aging, into longevity. Now, this is massive. This takes the amount of money available for research into, uh, into longevity. It puts it in a whole new ballpark, right? right? Today, there's a lot less money spent on, on aging, on uh, you know, life extension, than there is on, on disease research and stuff like that. And almost all the money spent today on anti-aging comes, uh, comes from the US, what is it? Um, it's a government entity, it's not the National Institute for Health, I think it's the Nas National Institute for Aging, right? American Federation for Aging Research um, is, you know, a lot of money uh, goes from there, and that comes from the U.S. National Institute on Aging. All right, so National Institute for Aging, and they give money to uh, the American Federation for Aging Research, and it gets distributed. Um, you know, uh, uh, but we're now talking about suddenly a billion dollars available. Now, this could be a game changer. And it's not like the Saudis intend to invest this money in Saudi Arabia, because there is no aging research or, or no, nothing significant in Saudi Arabia. No, they, they, they tend to sprinkle this all around the world to labs and to, uh, to um, and they already have started to different, uh, to different universities, to different researchers. I mean, this really could change the world. I mean, this is the first time I think I've ever thought of well, maybe, 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 you know, this massive accumulation of wealth in the hands of the Saudis will turn out to have a positive impact. <laughs> uh, I don't know, but it, there's a real chance. So first of all, if you are doing aging research, if you're doing longevity research, you should look into this. Hevolution Foundation, Saudis are giving away money like crazy. Now, it makes sense. MBS is a dictator. He's a totalitarian, not even authoritarian, a totalitarian. But he perceives himself as a benevolent dictator who it wants to bring the Saudi nation into the 21st century. He wants to make the world a better place, for the Saudis at least. He's uh, modernizing and diversifying, and he's got a lot of money to do it with. He engaged in a bunch of wars with Iran, but has backed off of that and now is an ambassador of peace. Who knows what this guy actually wants? Uh, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. He's 37 years old. He probably wants to live forever and rule Saudi Arabia forever, that he would massively invest in, um, in this. Uh, the uh, guy running the foundation is a former uh, scientist uh, who worked for Pepsi, for uh, over a decade. And um, yeah, they're, they're, they're handing out gazillions of dollars, gazillions of dollars, All, and very diversified. So a lot of small bits, a few million here, hundreds, a few hundred thousands here, a few 
you know, tens of millions over there. Uh, and now I'm trying to think of what's the downside. Yeah, right. I mean, could they corner the market and all the longevity drugs go to Saudi Arabia? Probably not. Probably not able. Could will we, if they make discoveries, if if this money actually goes and and actually leads to some major discoveries, will all of us benefit from it? Probably. So I'm, I'm curious what the downsides are. There might be some downsides. Um, certainly, this helps legitimize one of the most um, brutal and horrific regimes on the planet. It helps make them appear civilized and 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 uh, worthwhile, which they are not. It, it gives them a certain sanction, which is sad. Uh, I, I think I, I, last week we had the story about this guy's just being sentenced to death because he criticized MBS, the royal family, on Twitter. So he's being sentenced to death. I wonder what Elon Musk think about, thinks about that. Uh, so the Saudis, I mean, the Saudi regime is still a brutal regime. It still uh, sends people to, to death or to long sentences in jail for uh, over, over expressions of, uh, over free sp of a speech. Uh, they flog people for being atheists. I mean, it's it's a brutal, horrible regime. And maybe they're doing something at the margin that we will all benefit from. It it seems like, it seems just horrible uh, that this is possible. But it, it, they've got all these billions. It's better they spend it on this than the other options that they have, like buying more weapon systems from the United States, which we continuously sell to them. They've got some of the most advanced weapon systems in the world. Uh, I don't know if they know how to use them, but they have the, some of the most advanced weapon systems in the world.